At first, the intensive search was from the air and on the ground. But just one day later, authorities on both sides of the Canadian border have turned to the harder work of tracking tips and investigating leads. Uh, obviously, with a case like this where there's a great deal of media attention and publicity, uh, there tends to be a higher number of possible sightings, uh, people that are trying to be helpful. This strange case started Saturday south of Los Angeles when a bottle collector poking through a dumpster found a suitcase with a woman's body jammed inside. That night in Los Angeles, seemingly unrelated, a Canadian man named Ryan Jenkins I decided to appeal to all your senses. who was a featured bachelor on the VH1 reality show Megan Wants a Millionaire reported that a 28-year-old bikini model named Jasmine Fiore was missing. Tuesday, through the serial numbers on her breast implants, the body in the suitcase was identified as that of Jasmine Fiore, and Ryan Jenkins was nowhere to be found. We have reason to believe that, um, that somebody who may be involved in her disappearance uh, is a friend of hers and a person of interest. This is a person we would like to speak with. At the time, they didn't even know Jenkins' true relation to Fiore. Only a few months ago, the 32-year-old Jenkins had been a player vying for the affection of the girl looking for a millionaire on VH1. And I've never really rolled with any girls that could keep up with me. He was the confident, wealthy bachelor, certain he would get the girl. You'd look good in a bikini with sand stuck to your butt, and I'll rub some coconut oil on your back. I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> I got this nailed. <laughs> it hasn't been revealed what happened on the show, but after the production was done, in the reality of his life, Jenkins went to Las Vegas and met Jasmine Fiore at the Hawaiian Tropic Hotel. Both apparently were smitten, and within days, they married March 18th at the famous Little White Wedding Chapel. A woman who said she'd been sort of a second mother to Fiore described her. She was friendly, she was kind, she was happy, she smiled, she was exuberant, she was radiant. She was the girl next door, she was wholesome. Call the Yes Girls right now at 1-800-YES-GIRL and have some fun tonight. But here she is featured in an advertisement for an intimate chat line. For a wholesome girl, some of the work she did bordered on the sex industry. Come on, guys, get out your cell and text GIRL to 85000 and chat with wild singles like me right now. And oddly enough, when the police initially announced they were looking for Jenkins, they had a mugshot. Jenkins had been arrested before, accused of punching Fiore at a Las Vegas hotel. And he had a criminal conviction for assaulting a girlfriend at home in Calgary, Alberta, where he was sentenced to 15 months probation and counseling for anger management and sex addiction. In Calgary, one acquaintance said Jenkins could be found anywhere they sold $18 drinks. But a woman once engaged to Jenkins described him as a wonderful guy. The guy was a great guy. Uh, as far as I knew, he was very happy. You know, in our relationship, we had our fights. Everyone does. But I would never say, well, he could have murdered someone. There's no way. This week, a person claiming to have been a witness told ABC News Jenkins and Fiore argued at the poker game in San Diego a week ago. And there was possible tension over a former boyfriend named Robert Hassman, shown here poolside in Cabo San Lucas. Fiore's agent saw her with Hassman a month ago in Las Vegas. I was at a restaurant in Las Vegas, and um, I saw her walk in the door. And now um, I, she was with someone uh, that I couldn't uh, until I think last night that I saw on the news um, is, was the Robert, the, the boyfriend. It was Hassman who acted as the family spokesman yesterday at a police press conference. Ryan Jenkins is an animal. Um, what he has done to Jasmine is uh, unspeakable. Whether it was Jenkins is unproved, but whoever did it strangled Fiore and more. The fingers and teeth were removed. <laughs> For investigators, the circumstances all point toward the smooth-talking former bachelor, Ryan Jenkins. I'm so James Bond, and I'm going to rock it. Jenkins and Fiore were seen together last Friday night at that poker game in San Diego and had a room in this hotel. 
The suitcase with the body in it was found early Saturday morning, 100 miles north in Buena Park. Wednesday night, 1,300 miles far north in Blaine, Washington, Jenkins' black BMW and a boat trailer were discovered. And Thursday morning, 10 miles across open water, Jenkins' black ski boat was found at a marina in Point Roberts, Washington, walking distance from the Canadian border. And that, for now, is where the trail ends. But law enforcement authorities swear they will get Jenkins. There will be no uh, stone unturned, and we'll look under every rock for him. If Jenkins is arrested in Canada, under Canadian law, he may not be returned to the U.S. unless prosecutors here say they are not seeking the death penalty. And today, they said they will not. This is Brian Rooney for Nightline in Los Angeles.